First of all, I want to thank everybody for being here today. It's a very special day, and I look out and see such an enormous crowd. Uh, just uh, really uh, is heartwarming to see the support of the community. I want to thank all of the law enforcement agencies that are here today. Appreciate you being here. Uh, appreciate uh, the city leaders, uh, county leaders. Uh, to take your time out of your day to come help pay respects is very much appreciated by us. Uh, with that being said, I want us all to remember it's not about us here today. Uh, we're here to help honor those, but it's about the people that are not here today and their families that we're here to remember. Uh, in 1962, a joint resolution in Congress created National Police Week, and actually National Police Day is May the 15th, which is today. So this is the 50th year and we, this year, uh, we lost 166 officers nationwide, and in Texas, we lost 13, and that's too many. And we pray for them, and we honor them, and we pray for their families today, and uh, just hope that uh, we make things better. Uh, there's the newest and biggest program in law enforcement now is called Under 100, and that program is to get our number below 100 of officer deaths in a year. I think it's it's just crazy that we have to worry about that that number and it being so big. I, I want it to be under 50, uh, but that's how how important it is and it's how hard the job is that uh, we have to do here. And so and I also ask that when you see the officers in your community and deputies and constables and all the law enforcement officers, just take a little time, appreciate what they do and appreciate what the families have done, and, and especially the ones that have gone before us. Uh, their families need our support all the time, and we need to remember them and pray for them. Thank you. I'm gonna echo what Bobby Duvall said. I think any of us that have been in law enforcement any length of time have had friends and associates and stuff killed in the line of duty. The longer you stay, the longer the list gets. And the times now are more violent, I guess, than they've ever been. But at this time, we really just want to pause and reflect on the men and women that in law enforcement have lost their lives in the performance of their duties. These officers have made the ultimate sacrifice protecting society. We ask them to keep their families and the ones that they leave behind in their prayers. So these are people that also pay a big price for this for what we do. We don't give a lot of thought to the fact that we could die in the line of duty, which we can. But really the people that's really impacted by this are our families. That's what we leave behind. And, and any kind of public service like this is a, a part of it. And I just want us to remember these people and keep them in our prayers. Thank you. A part of America died. Somebody killed a policeman today, and a part of America died. A piece of our country he swore to protect will be buried with him at his side. The suspect that shot him will stand up in court with counsel demanding his rights. While a young widowed mother must work for her kids and spend many long, lonely nights, the beat that he walked was a battlefield too, just as if it had gone off to war. Through the flag of our nation won't fly at half mast, to his name they will add a gold star. Yes, somebody killed a policeman today, in your town or mine, while we slept in the comfort behind our locked doors. A cop put his life on the line, now his ghost walks the beat in the dark city street, and he stands at each new rookie's side. He answered the call of himself, gave his all, and a part of America died. I'm honored to stand here and read the list of the names of the people who selflessly gave their lives to protect and serve the community that they so loved. And We'll start off. There's 13 people. As Bobby Duvall said, he lost 13 friends. Well, there's 13 people on this list, and I just want to honor them today. Corporal Kevin Lee Agner, Travis County Constable's Office, Precinct 2, through a duty, 15 years, end of watch, July 8, 2011. Sergeant Mark Luis Siana, 
Bear County Constable's Office, Precinct 3, Tour of Duty, 28 years, end of watch, August 27, 2011. Police Officer Brian Mitchell Hebert, Beaumont Police Department, Tour of Duty, 10 years, end of watch, July 8, 2011. Deputy Sheriff Ch Charles Allen Van Meter, Sr., Brazoria County Sheriff's Office, Tour of Duty, 5 years, end of watch, June 26, 2011. Police Officer Kevin Scott Will, Houston Police Department, Tour of Duty, 2 years, end of watch, May 29, 2011. Sergeant Kenneth Gary Van, Sr., Bear County Sheriff's Office, Tour of Duty, 24 years, end of watch, May 28, 2011. Corrections Officer Craig Allen Orell, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, end of watch, May 12, 2011. Deputy Sheriff Clifton Lee Taylor, Johnson County Sheriff's Office, Tour of Duty, three years, end of watch, April 23, 2011. Deputy Sheriff Sherry Catherine Jones, Bowie County Sheriff's Department, Tour of Duty, six years, end of watch, April 18, 2011. Deputy Sheriff Robert Lee Britton, Jr., Smith County Sheriff's Office, Tour of Duty, 19 years, End of watch, March 28, 2011. Police Officer Stephanie Ann Brown, San Antonio Police Department. Tour of duty, three years. End of watch, March 15, 2011. Police Officer Kevin P. Marceau, Dallas Police Department. Tour of duty, seven years. End of watch, January 14, 2011. Deputy Sheriff John Norsworthy, Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. Tour of duty, two years. End of watch, January 4th, 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank everyone for their attendance today. It's indeed an honor for me to be a police officer, and I know that for every law enforcement officer here, it's an honor to be here and to be recognized and to remember, especially those who have paid that ultimate sacrifice. Before we're dismissed this morning, I'd like to offer a closing prayer.